Hello friends, it's Christine Vicente with Queen City Stamp Art and I'm back for day 10 of the 12 Days of Christmas card series. Today we're going to be using Sparkle of the Season bundle to create the card. We're actually only going to be using the stamp set today, not the dies. Um, I know in the past I've used this Sparkle of the Season to create a autumn themed wreath as well as a Halloween wreath. Today we're not going to be focusing on the wreath so much, we're going to use some of these extra images here just to give some interest to the sentiment on this card. So let's get into the card making. Today you need minimal supplies. We're gonna be going with a basic white card base measuring 11 by four and a quarter like yesterday. This again is a top folding, traditionally a top folding portrait style of a base card, but we're gonna use it as a landscape with a left side fold. So it's gonna go like this. And then we're gonna be layering on this panel of Heartwarming Hugs Designer Series paper. So again, this was another situation where I had some strips left like yesterday. And instead of cutting this down, I'm gonna leave this the size it is. It measures like four by one and a half. And we're gonna use this as part of where we do the sentiment. So we're gonna take some of these little botanicals from that set. We're gonna use Evening Evergreen and Pear Pizzazz inks. We're gonna start with Evening Evergreen and the little holly sprig. I'm gonna use this as a guide. So I'm just gonna lay this down, hold this in place, and I'm gonna be stamping a few little sprigs of this sort of holly leaf here. And I wanna make sure that it sticks up enough from where I'm going to be placing this so it creates some interest. I'll probably do one more over here. Okay, like that. And then we'll Take this and close it and pull in the pear pizzazz. And now I've got this um, other like leafy corn sort of sprig that we're gonna add right here. And then I'll probably add one more here. Like that. Yeah, I like that. And now we're going to just take this piece and glue it down. Just flat to the card. So this is still a very festive holiday color scheme, um, but the red is in the designer series paper and the green is, the different greens are in the greenery. So now we're going to take the same pair of pizzazz cardstock, um, ink pad and cardstock, and there's a Merry Christmas sentiment in this stamp set. It's a pretty good size Merry Christmas. So we're gonna ink this up and create a little sentiment panel right here. And it's see-through, so it's really easy to work with. Just stamp that on here. And then I think I'm gonna cut this up at an angle like that. And then we're gonna use some of this beautiful uh, Chevron Weave uh, Evening Evergreen ribbon. And I'm just gonna cut a little like three inch piece of that. And I'm gonna get out my liquid glue and put a little bead of liquid glue on the back of this. And then I'm gonna lay this here on the front of my card. And this is just gonna add a little extra layer of texture under my sentiment. And I will use dimensional adhesives to pop up the sentiment piece. And then we're gonna layer this on. And I'm gonna make it even with the right, I'm gonna justify it with the right edge of the card like that. And then to finish this one, we're gonna use some of these little tiny rhinestones. These little red ones. And I'm just gonna add a couple here to the sentiment like that. and then a few to the foliage. Like that, just to create some interest. And then to finish this completely, we're gonna round the top right corner with my little corner chomping tool here. It's a little qu quarter inch round on the top corner. I like how that looks. I think that sort of finishes the card. It gives it 
almost kind of a modern look when you open it. It has sort of that rounded edge on the top. That's just kind of pretty, I think. I really like that. And then I'll add probably, there's this nice sentiment for the inside. May the sparkle of the season warm your heart and home. I'll probably stamp that on the inside of the card before I send it. But I like this one. I think it's kind of clean and simple. It's very pretty. I like the foliage a lot in the different colors. And I think bringing that uh, chevron ribbon in adds another texture and it kind of um, echoes the, the evening evergreen foliage in the stamping. So anyway, I hope you like this easy card. This would be a great one to do in multiples. Um, keep in mind that the host code is still open for the shopping link. And um, if you go to this website and shop your supplies um, and you use this code, any size order, and I will be sending out some cute little happy mail packs to anybody who places an order during my series just as a way to say thank you. So thanks a lot and have a lovely day. I'll be back tomorrow with card number 11.